hand for my dear Watson. I found it. Gosh dang it. <laughs> so close. Sorry, Watson. False alarm. Carry on. Get nerdy with me. Talk nerdy to me. My name is Mr. Delay. Welcome to your two-minute delay. We're talking about Whale Talk. This book, it's a hard book to read. Number one, we're dealing with some really rough subjects. We're talking about bullying. We're talking about some serious uh, abuse issues in other families. We're talking about um, some pretty brutal, heartbreaking stuff that comes at the end. It is well-intentioned. It is well-written. It kind of... I guess after reading a lot of young adult fiction, I have this thing where I feel like every young adult fiction book has to end in some kind of Romeo and Juliet-esque kind of tragedy. And so by the time it gets to reviewing this one, I've already read several uh, <clears throat> John Green who have done this to me, and I begin to kind of feel a bit kind of gun-shy about that use of that plot device. However, I understand the implications of it. As a student of theater, as a student of writing, as a student of movies, I get why loss occurs. There is a reason why m one must lose something so precious and, and, and treasured to them and so adored that that impetuous that is, comes out of that loss can push a plot forward in unbelievable ways and in, and create moments that are unforgettable. This is the beauty of Whale Talk. We have a great character who you actually do kind of get to uh, have some pride in and feel good about. We have a really special character who is um, who has special needs, but his, his story is not told in a way that is glad-handed or is kind of just there to be there. It actually serves an integral part of their friendships, of their family, of all the elements that kind of make the story continue to move and, and groove. It's a great book. It's a very well-written kind of high school -y kind of story. You will get a kick out of it. I enjoyed it, and it is definitely worth reading again. I will probably read it over the summer. Uh, it is absolutely worth it. You should check it out. It's, it's almost on the level of John Green, and that's saying something, because I'm a John Green fan beyond belief. My name is Mr. Delay. You've been delayed for two minutes. Twelve of the dogs, I can't resist that. And once the coin go on, I think that...